This is War of the Worlds Bayon Report, a gameplay demo released yesterday by Stefano Cagnani, who's previously done two other War of the Worlds games that I've covered. I discovered this purely by coincidence, I found out about another War of the Worlds game by Cagnani that I didn't know existed, and when chasing that one up, I stumbled across this one that had been published only a few hours prior. So let's get into it. This is a prototype demo. Interesting. Well, the main menu looks absolutely terrific. Very brilliant. So this appears to be some kind of analog horror type of thing. So, hey, we'll see. I even got the details like the birds going by. Let's see what it's all about. Play VHS report. Right. September 18th, 2005. So it's clearly based on the Spielberg version. I realise this demo for fun is not a final product, but only a test gameplay, a tech demo. Ah, interesting. What well, looks really interesting. It's a very nice shot of the tripod rising up. Oh, you play as the tripod. Oh, look, I'm playing him. Whoa. And use. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know you were playing as the tripod. Okay. Hey, pretty cool. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, you can go down, you can go up. How about that? This is interesting. Very unique style too. The tripod's just sort of going into the floor there. As it said, it's a tech demo, so... Oh, there's a tank! Can I destroy the tank? I oh, got him, got him. Brilliant. There's a lot of people on this bridge here. What if there's a horn? So the name of this game is talking about the Bayon Bridge, as we can see here, which is the bridge which gets destroyed in Spielberg's War of the Worlds as Tom Cruise is driving away. Now, judging by the look of this game, it makes me wonder if this tech demo has done that thing where they like get Google Maps or something like that, and turned it 3D to create the environment. Because it is a real bridge, so that'd be interesting if Kanyani has literally taken a slice of New Jersey from a real map to construct this location. What happens if I collide into the other tripod? Uh, 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 hey. Whoa! Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh! Can I move the... Where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm the one on the right now. Whoa! It's getting mounted by a tripod, what the hell? Wait, look, I've risen him up. Go back to Mars, my friend. Hey, this is interesting. <laughs> this is the, uh, the tripod centipede or something, I don't know what the heck this is. The up-close shots are really interesting when it looked like that, when it glitches. That's really interesting. Anyway, let's get back to destroying humanity. Oh, there he is. I do wonder if this is a demo. I wonder what the... Uh, what the actual game is going to be. I'll say this about... Um, Stefano Cagnani's games. It's easy. It does such a good job of sort of... I don't know what you'd call it. Like the focus sort of effect having things blurred out in the background and and get go into focus as you go near it. 
sort of makes it really cinematic. Well, <laughs> okay, well, imagine if the tripods could fly in the uh, 2005 film, that would have made them even scarier. Also, look at that. That is like some trippy tripods right now. I think that's the Martians after they've like eaten some dodgy mushrooms or something. It's like a disco going on. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I kind of hit a wall over there, so I'm guessing that's like the invisible barrier. Huh. Oh, you can see a truck. What was that? Was that a bullet or is that a uh, meteor? I guess it's probably a, a bullet, because they uh, didn't use meteors in this version, did they? So. I also suspect that the visual style of this gameplay is a reference to the report by the news team, where they show Tom Cruise footage of the tripods destroying a city. Detroit, if I remember correctly. Or was that only in the scary movie version? Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa, fly, fly, my friend. You can see tiny little, what are those, birds? Yeah, birds are unaffected. Okay, so let's follow where the bullets are. You can see sort of streaks of bullets. So clearly there's a few humans out there. Fighting back. I saw I've reached the, uh, I've done a recce and I've reached the boundaries of the top and right. Let's see if there's anything else out there. bullets coming from. Okay, so then there's a barrier here, I'm guessing. Unless you can go in the sea. Nope, nope, you won't go in the sea. Fair enough. You can see sort of the edge of the map there. Just the void of darkness. That's uh, where Columbus was trying to go, wasn't it? And then you've got... Is that another edge? Can he go over the bridge? Yes, you can. Yeah, I went over it earlier, didn't I? Okay. The effects are very nice. It's like some just fire burning. Okay, and that's the edge. Alright. Let's see where else I can go. Oh! I was pressing the spacebar to jump. And it did the horn. I thought there would be a horn. I knew it. Oh, that's an interesting horn as well. It's not like just a remake. You know, it's not like... Is there any other secret buttons? Did it say it under instructions? I don't think it did, but... I might have just missed it. It sounded like Ula to me. I guess it's not, but I don't know. But yeah, man, this is really interesting. I like that they actually he actually put the horn in. I was like, oh man, it's got to be a horn button. I was pressing like the T, and then the F, and then I pressed the space to jump for some reason just to see if it would, and then that. Pretty epic. Okay, I think I'm about to reach the edge of the map again. Oh! This demo is over, thanks for playing. Oh, brilliant. Really interesting to see if this turns into anything, or what happens with it. To see more of Stefano's War of the Worlds games, click here to watch the last one I reviewed.